Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can create project for the web inside Microsoft Teams. For that purpose, I will create a new team and I will click here, create team, and I will create a team for scratch. And I will say it's public, and then I will have a, a team name, I will give team name, test team, okay? And I will say create. After I create the team, I will have this nice work message. And now I can start a type of name of a group to, in which I want to add a team. I will not do it. And if I not uh, want to do it, I will just have to click on skip and my team is created. But be aware of one thing. When I go to my admin center and hit refresh, I will see that my team is created and has the same name and have the same name like my team. So test team group is created for test team in Microsoft Teams. So you have two possibilities. You can add your team to existing group or create a new one. And that is very important. Now, let me show you in my new test team, how can I have a project? How can I create a project for the web? I'm going once again to click on plus sign and I can here see a project or if you don't see it, just click on the search project and you will find it. Click on project and just click on add. Now, when you add this, you, can, uh, you have two possibilities, to create a new project or to add an existing project. For first example, I will create a new project. Okay, and I will say my first project in MS Teams, and I will save it. Okay. Now, I will have this tab. I can expand this view, and I can do like this. Summary, task, task one, task two, task three, and let's say milestone. I can adjust my view, like I want to hide column, I want to put here depends on, I can do, as you can see, whatever I can do in Project for the Web, I can do it here. Make subtask, okay, now I'm going to say duration, one, two, three, zero, and depends on, sorry, task one, task two, and I will say task three. I can see everything in timeline. I can go to board. I can add the buckets. I can arrange those tasks. I can uh, tasks. I can do whatever I want. And that is what I want to show you when you create a project in project uh, uh, in Microsoft Teams. But there are some things you should be aware of. And I'm going to show you them right now. I'm in my Teams now, and I can now assign resources. I can put John here, okay? And it will ask me if I want to assign John to a task and to a group or just assign. And the difference between, uh, between those two, I'm going to explain in my next video. So. For, that, uh, for this purpose, I want to assign John to a task and to a group. Here, I will say I want Mary as well. Okay. Here, I want Ellen. And here, I want to assign John again. So, since John is already a member of my group, I will just have to assign him. And I will know uh, I'm not going to assign anyone to my milestone.
So as you can see, in Microsoft Project for Teams, you can do whatever you want because you can have all possibility. You have all possibilities like you have in original Microsoft Project for the web, which can be approached by uh, choosing this go to website icon. And be aware of one thing: when you create a project in your Microsoft team, then you do not have possibility to choose a group. Th uh, this project belongs to group which is called test team. On the other hand, if I go to project and I want to create a new blank project and I will say this project, I will call it, let's say, Nenat by my name, I can hear when I when I create this project, I can here go to group members and I can create group with we new group with and use whichever name I want, or I can add it to a group which already exists, and this is blog project for the web and the testing which was just created a few minutes ago. So that is first major difference. If you want to create a team, uh, a project in a Microsoft Teams, then it will belong to the group to which the whole team belong in Microsoft Teams. So here, my first project in MS Teams belongs to, let me go back and show you once again, to the group which is test team. Okay, now, second thing what, what I want to show you is when I create here a new project, okay, here, and I will say, let's say, you will see I have project Nenad, and I will, this project have, for this project, I will have just three tasks. Don't worry about how do they look. And I will go to group members. And I will say that this project, Nenat, should belong to test team. Okay? And I will say add. Now let's go back to the teams. As you can see here, I am in my test team. Let's say that I want my first project in MS Teams add to the another team which is called blog project for the web. Let's go here. Plus project. I can see existing project for this team only the project. If I go back and I go use test team, sorry, and I want to add a project here, I can use Nenad. Why? Because you cannot add a project to a team which doesn't belong to a group for that team. Let's go back here. Let's see all my projects. And let's see my project. Which, which name is the project. If I go here, and if I go to group members, I will see that this project, the project, belongs or is connected with a group called Blog Project for the Web. And since this group, this project belongs to this group, then it means that I can add it here in the same teams team which same group here okay let's go project and i can choose only the project but i cannot add here in my group which is called blog project for the web i cannot add a project nenat and my first project in teams because both of them are not part of the same group as the project is, but they have their own group, which you can see is called 
test team. So NENAT project and also the project belongs to same group, which is, sorry, sorry, I opened a, a wrong one. And my first project in Teams belongs to same group, which is test team. And only those projects who belongs to test team group, they can be added here in Teams in test team because test team is also connected with a test group. So I'm going to choose project and I'm going to add Nenad. And if I add Nenad, I will see the project here. Okay, after a while. But in the meantime, I can go to blog. You can see here ABC and th then I can continue to work with that, with that project inside test team. In my blog project for the web, I will add a project, existing project, but the only existing project for this blog project for the web is the project. So I will do the same thing and I will, uh, after a while, have the whole project inside of Microsoft Teams. So to conclude, when you create a project for the web inside of the team, then it automatically belongs to the group which is connected to that team. And when you want to import existing project, creating somewhere else, like for example, in Microsoft Project for the Web, then it can be imported only in the team which belongs to the same group as a project belongs. And Last thing, if I go to my project here, all projects, no matter if you create your project in project for the web application or in Teams, the all projects will be seen in Microsoft Project for the web. Maybe it's a little bit complicated, but remember this group is connected with the project for the web and as well with the teams and only the group connects those two so each and every project which belongs to group let's say a could be imported or connected with the team which belongs to group a each project which belongs to group B can be important in uh, the team which belongs to the same group, group B. And when you create a new project directly from projects for the uh, pro uh, from, uh, in Microsoft Teams, then that project will belong to specific group in which teams belong as well. So I hope that you understood what I uh, uh, what I was telling and if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask me. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day.